Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the KW Ranch and Kitchen. And happy Indian summer. Has it not been absolutely stunning? Wow, what is that? <laughs> I do believe that the puppies at the puppy mill next door to us, it might be feeding time because they just went crazy. But like I was saying, have it and has it not been absolutely stunning out these last few days? I know tomorrow, I believe it is, we're supposed to hit 70 degrees in November. That is unheard of for the Adirondacks. Um, we did not plant our garlic and our asparagus yet, so we're going to end up doing that this week. Or I'm going to do that this week. Um, the cows are happy. We're still working on wood. Um, I have to refill the wood box from last week because last week it was in the 20s. And then this week it's like summer. It's summer. There is still a morning chill in the air every morning. You know, you have to put the jacket on. But other than that, it's been absolutely great. I love it. Getting a lot of work done, um, organizing and cleaning. And right now I'm actually working on Christmas stuff, um, melting chocolate. I'm going to head down to the store I can sign for and drop off some more chocolates down there because they sent me a picture of my shelf. I don't really need much on the shelf. The shelf itself is pretty full, but people are looking for Christmas stuff. So I'm going to bring down some Christmas chocolates. Um, I've got labels being made for Christmas gifts. I'm going to do some cupcakes. I'm going to have some Christmas labels made up. So like the cupcake kits, I'm going to do the cupcakes and then put the frosting in the kit with the cupcakes and some sprinkles. So this way people can decorate their own cupcakes for Christmas time. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with cookies. I'm doing gift sets for the pancake mix and the syrup. So like breakfast pancake mix um, with a single single family size or single serving of pancake mixes and a four ounce container or jar of pancake syrup. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do kits of tea. Like I have tea, tea, medicinal herbal teas put together that I actually use here. One's to build your immune system. One's to help you go to sleep. And one is to help with congestion in case you do get sick. Which, knock on wood, no sickness is here. Thank goodness. It's the first year that we haven't been hit with a major bug. Once again, knock on wood. Knock, 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 knock. So whole house is wood. So just knock on the house. Uh, let's see. We've got plenty of seeds put away for next year. It was major harvesting this year. We got a lot of stuff done this year that we normally don't do. I'm hoping we put up enough food for the winter because I don't know if you recall, but our plan was to put enough food away for the entire year. When strawberry season comes up in the summer is when I want to run out of strawberries. We'll see if that happens. Um, pickles, when it's time to make pickles, I want to have enough pickles till it's time to make pickles again. And once again, we'll see if that happens because someone, no names mentioned, has been eating pickles constantly. Whenever I turn around, there's an empty jar of pickles juice in the sink. So someone keeps eating the pickles and the pickled eggs. Uh, I'm personally almost out of my elderberry syrup, but that's because I use it, which is probably why we haven't been sick. I can't do it again. I'm such a dork, ain't I? I know I am. So other than working on Christmas stuff and getting things put away and getting things preserved and getting wood in for the winter, we've been basically prepping for winter, um, trying to get everything cleaned up because before you know it, I'm going to be decorating for Christmas. And I really like this year. My whole plan for Christmas is to, I really, 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 really want to open the house up for people to come by on Christmas. Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I'm not 100% sure which, just have an open invite so people can just swing by, have a snack, 
have some treats, drink some hot chocolate, coffee, whatever, because I'll have all those set up and get ready to go and enjoy the ranch. You know, if they want to walk out in the snow, have fun with that and go look at the cows, they can. If they want to go into the barn and see if there's any babies in there, which I don't think we have any babies. Shh. They can go out into the farm and go in the barn and see the babies or the big cows that might be out there. Feed them and maybe I'll have some apples on hand and they can feed them some apples. But that's what I'd like to do this winter. So we'll see if it happens. I want to add on things every year to the ranch and on a farmer's market, add on vendor, uh, vendor events, have baby goats and sheep, you know, so that people can come and look at feed, you know, stuff like that. And then of course have everything homemade here, like homemade treats, homemade soaps, homemade, you name it. You know, I make my, I even make my hot chocolate mixes from scratch with powdered milk and coffee or instant coffee. Yes. I, I'm brain cells are not working this morning. Instant coffee and powdered milk and chocolate and sugar. I make everything completely from scratch here. So I like to share that to let people try the, the hot chocolate mixes that I make, you know, see if they like them. They might want to buy one, but that's all for now. Um, I will definitely try to do this more often. I know I'm a little off lately. I haven't been doing it weekly like I promised and, um, I'll try to make up for that. But I also have been doing homeschooling with Aaron Monday through Friday. Uh, we're still getting